So I've just uh, recorded the, my second vlog. I think I'm uh, getting better at it. Um, so it's, the message is uh, going to come after this. And I'd just like to say if, uh, if what I talk about and if the cause that Lantern is working towards uh, is something that resonates with you, then please uh, share the message, share the vlog. And uh, as I say, when we come to doing our crowdfund, then you know, getting the message out there and creating the community is going to be really important to the success of this project. So anything that you can do to help that, I'd much appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, um, so this is my second uh, vlog. Um, got to start getting used to it um, and just uh, going to give a bit of an update as to the project and actually to try and talk about why the subject is quite personal to me um, and give a little bit of uh, information about what Lantern is going to do. So yeah, ultimately, as well as being a charity, uh, the platform is going to enable people to create online memorials for people who've died and, and those will be geographically linked so you'd be able to go to uh, visit on the map uh, you know somewhere that was special a uh, special place for you with someone that you know that's died and, and create a memorial there and, and kind of leave that there um, and so at the minute we are uh, building the website so quite busy and, and that's progressing quite well um, but part of the project or part of that project is the landing page for the website, which effectively needed to have, uh, I wanted to have a photograph of someone that, a, it'll be a carousel of four images that kind of explains the process. And eventually I ended up speaking to my mum. Uh, so what people probably won't know is that uh, my mum uh, was very unfortunate when she was younger and she, she lost both of her parents and her brother at a very young age, all at separate times, uh, all before she was in her mid-twenties. I mean, I don't actually know all of the dates uh, of, of when it happened and that's part of what I'm going to talk about. And it's obviously, uh, so throughout my life, uh, I've been aware of this tragedy and it's just, I've just kind of accepted it as such that, uh, you know, I didn't have, I didn't get to know my grandparents through my mum, uh, nor my uncle. <laughs> I've actually never referred to him as that. I have his, Russell was his name, that's my middle name. And that, that's just been a part of, a part of life for us, for our family. And uh, all, all that I've really been aware of is that talking about that could, with my mum, she'd, she'd often get very emotional, uh, you know, understandably. And therefore, I guess the natural process is if you think of something that that's, that makes someone upset, you, you're going to start to avoid it. Um, so I haven't even really thought about all of that until uh, subsequent to asking her if she would like to be um, the person that I took photographs of uh, for the website, and uh, and she she was she was really up for that, which. Which was nice, and uh, I said to her to you know to take some time to think about you know where where she wanted the memory to be, and uh, she got back to me the next day and said that the family used to go on holiday to Lower Largo, which I can actually almost see across uh, the water there in Fife, uh, not not somewhere I was aware of, and uh, but she said it's you know it's an hour's drive. There's a, we could go to Princess Street. Uh, I can think of like a tea room or something, or we could go to the fourth road bridge. We used to, fourth rail bridge. We used to cross that on our way. And I said, you know, where where is where is that actual memory? You know, we should, you know, what if you're thinking of your family? Uh, where where is the memory that you're thinking of? So so we she said lower Largo. So the next day we went and we headed out there to um to take the photographs. And what transpired was not intentional, but on the way over there, we ended up talking about her family, about her holidays, about her memories of those. And, and it was really the first time that for me, I could see beyond 
the tragedy of, of what happened to her at a young age. And actually, I realised that I always refer to them as her mum and dad and her brother. I never think of them as like my grandparents and my, and my uncle. And I, as, as we drove over there, and then certainly once we got there, to find out that it was her, her uh, aunt's uh, campsite that they used to go and visit, and they used to go there quite a lot, and you know, that it was, was a really, really, really nice memory for her. And to kind of find that out was, was, was kind of amazing. So we had like a really nice day. We walked around, it's a tiny little village, beautiful, tiny little village. We had a look at the, 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 the various uh, places that she used to, to visit. It's on the beach, it's got a nice beach. It's pretty windy, so it was quite challenging to take photographs there. And um, yeah, we spent a, spent a good hour there. And it was, it was, it was really nice and uh, got good photographs that will go on the website that I, I think uh, with a picture of her family, which, you know, now when I look at it, I look at the people, I see personalities now. I see, I start to relate to them. And kind of ultimately, that is what this project's about. It is about sharing memories, keeping alive the memories of people that were important to you that have died. And in this instance, the kind of, the knock-on positive effect is that. So for my mum, she's, hope it was i think it i'm pretty sure it was well she said she had a good time so i think it was a, a nice day for her therefore a good experience and, and i think it opened a doorway for us to be able to talk about her past in a positive way she sent me a message that night we were sort of text or what's happening and i said i'd had a nice day and, and you know she <laughs> at one point she reiterated or she pointed out that she'd had a really happy childhood and you know it's something I never really considered because I'd never looked beyond what had happened so it, it was kind of really nice to know that and as I say now I can start to see the people behind what happened that, that was undoubtedly tragic but their personalities and and that that's that's amazing really that's that's really <laughs> something that's probably quite life-changing for me um and that's what this project's about. So keeping the memories of people close to us, special to us, that have died alive and talking about them and facilitating that is gonna be a big part of what Lantern tries to do as a charity and enabling people that are struggling with bereavement and grief and require counselling and can't afford it the end goal will be to, to help them to do that. So again, speaking to my mum, I know she, she wasn't, there was no help back, back when, when that happened to her at all. The kind of British, you know, stiff upper lip, let's, let's keep going. That, that was very much how she was, uh, how she was supposed to deal with it. And, um, you know, we, we, we have to do better than that nowadays. And that's a big part of what this project is. So, yeah, that's, I guess, for this this vlog, that's my emotional attachment to the project. I think it's, I think even when I've not known it, that's why I've been compelled to keep keep going with this project, because I'm aware that aspects of it have, have impacted upon my family, my mum, and therefore me uh, in quite a big way. So I hope uh, everyone was interested to find that out. I will try and update a little bit more on maybe the technical side of the project next time. Uh, and the crowdfund, still got a lot of work to do with that. So I'm going to keep going with that. Being a, such a YouTube rookie, I forgot all the um, typical things to say at the end of a vlog. And that is, if you could please uh, like this uh, video, that would be amazing. I'd appreciate that. If you would subscribe to the channel, that would also be brilliant. Um, I will try and keep people up to date with the project and, you know, hopefully uh, be able to incorporate a little bit more, uh, maybe other people into these videos, uh, and their, their stories around uh, people that they've lost that have died uh, in the future. So, yeah, please like, subscribe to the channel and uh, share this video. I'd appreciate that. Thank you.